Hello guys, welcome back, let's see here, alright, so I got some new things, um, I want to go over a few guys, um, one of them being a mixture I just recently came up with, I posted it on my Facebook, let's see, where is it, this is like a tubs mi mixture, has um these three dubbings in it. This is leech dubbing by Firefly Tires Dungeon Blood Leech. Hot yellow Arctic snow and hot wind I mean excuse me Arctic wind hot pink. That's basically what the mixture is. This is gonna be a a Frenchy style fly. Um, this is going to be a bigger size because I'm, I'm going to be fishing them on my spinning rod. So this is one thing that you can do to if you if the water is too deep for a fly rod, then you can obviously use a spinning rod. All right. So the hooks, I prefer buying them in bulk. So, I most of the time get them from a wholesale company. And these are size 10, they're 60 degree and they're heavy. This is size 10. And I'm going to put a gold slotted Tunson bead 4.0 millimeters or 530 seconds. And I'm going to start my thread. This is fire orange 6 out. And I'm going to not put any other weight on here because I wanted to sink a little bit slower. But with the Tonson B, it should be getting it down pretty well. Alright. Got that in. And now I'm going to take my CDL, Dark Pardo. I'm going to do a whole bunch of explanation here because you guys probably already know how to tie this fly. But I'm tying it mainly in size 8, 10, and I'm going to get some 12s here pretty soon to see how well they do. I'll be fishing in for panfish and maybe some bass if they go after it. Okay. This is how the how I like to tie in my tail. I have to tie it up at the front of the hook. So I'm about to bend because then that creates a nasty bump back there. Okay. And now, let's see here. Got that out of the way. You can put pheasant tail as the tail. Or you can put CDL. It depends on you. The original Frenchie that I know of had a CDL tail. You don't have to get it. You just get like a uh, tail, whiting cock de leon tailing pack and you should be pretty good. I uh, have to buy whole capes and whole saddles. The saddles run about 40 bucks on the cheaper side and about 50 bucks on the expensive side. Next I'm going to tie my pheasant tail. You can. This is a side tail. Meaning that has a soft side and a stiff side. Tie in the stiff side of it. Let's see here. Let's see here. And I'm going to tie, because this is a pretty long tail. I'm just going to tie it in like that. Okay. Get a couple more because this is a pretty big hook. This is a size 10, like I said. Tied in at the front this time. Okay. Build up a body. Spin my thread. I'm 
and see how fast I can tie because sometimes I upload and it's too long. Alright, so I'm going to double a pearl strand of iris beavis thread or it's like some kind of micro glint or uh, for you Brit UK guys you know what micro glint is. You can't get it here in America yet, I don't believe so. So the substitute would be like an iris or some kind of metallic thread that is very similar. Alright, so I'm going to wrap the pheasant tail and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I saw this done by Livingston Tribute um, a couple years back. You should know the guy, he was on a kind of merit. I forget the name of the show. Um, uh, Angler's Art. The guy that's in. The guy who, um, one of the guys that's on there. And that's a little bit too short, so I'm gonna clip that. And so I can't manage to tie this fly in a good amount of time. Okay, it's a little bit more pheasant tail because it's not quite where I want it to stop. Okay. Because that pheasant tail is a little short. I'm going to drop this up into the thorax area. One, two, three in the back, one, two, in front. And that should lock it in. Let's see if I can't knock this thing down a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to pull on this thing pretty tight. Oops. It's not twisting. One, two, Three, four, five. One, two, one, two, one. All right, and now we're to the tops mixture. I just dub this on. I know it seems like a lot because it's a big hook. Not actually, it might be good. Let's see here, but I can't go back and tighten that up. Okay. You can see I'm no professional tire, guys. I am just a regular common Joe. Alright, and I'm going to whip finish it. One, two, three, four, five. And we're done. Took me about eight minutes or so to tie. See if I can't get that thing into focus there. There you go, guys. There's a Frenchie. Thanks for watching. Hope I. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.